Minecraft beds are too overpowered. Sleeping skips the only dangerous part of the overworld, so if you use a bed, you might as well just turn on cheats and skip to morning every night, because it's practically the same thing. So I'm starting a new hardcore world where I literally can't skip the night, because sleep is for the weak. And I'll be attempting to survive the next 100 days without sleeping in real life either. I'm gonna be awake for the next 33 and a half hours. I will not survive this challenge. In game, in game, I'm going to be okay in real life. Also, please don't try this at home. All right, so I've got a about 10 minutes to prepare for the first night. My first objective is to complete stage one of my three stage plan to stay awake and beat the dragon by day 100. I'm not even gonna bother exploring today. I'm just grabbing enough food and tools to make it through the first night. Then we'll probably start exploring for a more permanent place tomorrow. So I've built a little bit of a dirt wall here, but as you can see, I left it without a roof. Oh shoot, if a skeleton spawns up there, I'm a goner here just... Yeah, that's not gonna help at all. Ah, whatever. I've left my dirt wall without a roof because in addition to not sleeping at night, I've also decided to introduce three other rules to my world to ensure that I'm not cheesing my playthrough. And one of those rules is that I'm not allowed to prevent hostile mob spawns. I am allowed to restrict where hostile mobs spawn, but placing blocks over the player's head blocks phantoms from being able to spawn entirely. So nights in this world are spent either outside or underground, which means we're gonna have to wait for a day inside of my dirt wall. Finally, sunrise. Let's go look for a village. Nothing beats a swim at sunrise. Wait, what is that by my hand? Is that a ruined portal? A and a village? Heck yeah, we're going there right now. Please have good loot, please have good loot, please have good loot. Yes! Okay, I guess it's not that great. Honestly, the best thing here is the flint and steel. Pre-cooked food! <laughs> Burn you bovine ass! Oh, was that my fault? Oh, oh, oh no, there's a lava pool. Okay, I should probably get serious about what I'm doing here. I need to get to work on building an iron farm. No more distractions. Oh look, a turtle! I take that. No, come back! Ah, crack! Okay, before I show you the next point three seconds, I should probably clarify stipulation two. On the same morning that I started this challenge, I posted a video announcing this Sleepless Hardcore series and a goal that I had to raise a million dollars for cancer research. In the video, I told you that the way I plan to eventually reach this goal is with a rule called the price per death. Typically in hardcore, if you die once, it's game over. However, I've struck a deal with the Blood God so that for one penny per subscriber, I can respawn, but I lose all of my items and XP. This stipulation puts me in a head-to-head -head battle against you, because while I currently only have an unimpressive 2029 subscribers, every subscriber I gain is going to affect the price per death for this video and every subsequent video after it. Which means if you subscribe, you'll literally become a liability to me, so please don't. Oh, well. That was embarrassing. Anyway, back to the montage. It's 12.07 p.m. Just got back from dropping my wife off at work and the iron farm is done. It is still daytime though and I don't think the villagers have had a chance to sleep yet. So I think I'm gonna go mining. Oh, that's a big drop. Is that a spider spawner? That's a spider spawner. I gotta get out of here. I better go check on my iron farm. I think I'm a little too far away from that spider spawner for it to spawn anything, but I don't love the crowd of adoring fans I've gathered down there. Oh no, I hear a baby zombie. Yep, there he is. Where are you going, little buddy? You can't reach me from up there, can you? Oh, oh no, oh no, crap, 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 crap. He's got a shovel, he's got a shovel. Crap, crap, stay back, stay back, stay back. No! alive again must mean that the blood god accepted my offering. What you just witnessed was the price per death in action. It isn't entirely uncommon for hardcore players to die in the early game, so while this was an embarrassing display of my lack of skill, it is a good example of how the second stipulation works. Instead of completely resetting, I pick back up in the same world, but now I owe $20 to the blood god. Right now this is just a pledge, but I'll show proof of the full donation at the end of the video. I'm lucky that death was so cheap. My video from this morning hasn't gained me very many subscribers yet, but I have a feeling that isn't gonna last very long. I guess you'd already know though, just look at my current subscriber count. If it's any higher than 2,000, uh, spoiler alert, I've gotta work pretty fast if I wanna finish stage one before it gets too late. I need renewable food and armor and the best way to get that is through villager trading. So I just finished day 14. I was right about the bump in views. My last video has only been out for seven hours now and about an hour ago it spiked almost straight up. I just got a call from my sister asking for some help so I've paused again to take care of that and I guess we'll see what the damage is when I get back.
All right, so I just got back to resume filming and came home to a uh, that the price per death has doubled It's already doubled. I I've been gone for one hour and my uh, my last video went from 600 views to 18,000 in one hour I'm, I'm not even a quarter of the way done with the 100 days I know I joked you guys could financially ruin me, but you weren't supposed to actually do it Oh man, the pressure is ramped from zero to 100 really fast. There's literally no saying how far this is going to go I mean I, look it's it's already gone up another 500 subscribers. It's been 20 minutes I, I am literally taking right now. My confidence has simultaneously been bolstered and completely shattered Oh No, oh no, 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 no. I'm too scared to be in the nether right now Oh, 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 let me in. Do I really have no food except for raw pork and rotten flesh? You know, it really says a lot about a person when they'd rather turn to cannibalism and cook anything for dinner. I would just eat the crops out here, but I need them to breed the villagers. Ow, please stop hitting me! Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I am getting swarmed. I am getting swarmed. I need some cooked food that will actually heal me. Okay, somebody please walk into that. Yes, give me your flesh! Finally, sunrise, I am free. Uh, is that another village? Has that been there this whole time? I gotta check this out. Sick! <laughs> I needed that. Let's go home. Okay, it's time for me to pick up my wife from her real job. My parents are so proud of me. I just passed 48,000 views on my video, and we're at 6,514. Oh, make that 10 more. We're back with some food to cook dinner. 10.05, dinner is finished. But anyway, back to recording. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. I am seven hours behind schedule. It's already after 10 p.m. and I'm only on day 22. With how late it is, I can't afford to keep working on the village. If I keep waiting around for villagers to breed, I'm gonna be too sleepy to focus on stage two. What in the world? A anyway, I gotta go mining. I just checked the price per death and uh, you guys doubled it again. Yeah, a death now would cost me about $80, and I've decided that that's too much, so... Unsubscribe right now! Okay, okay, the obvious solution is to just not die. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of hardcore. But if you haven't noticed, I don't have a totem of undying yet, so the risk of death here is moderately high. Because of that, we're abandoning stage one to start working on stage two. I found a pillager outpost really, really close to world spawn, so I'm going to build a raid farm right over there in the ocean. Once we get that up and running, I can reveal stipulation three, and we can- <gasps> Oh! Oh, oh my! Oh, I'm getting it! I'm getting it! Oh, oh, that was terrifying. Oh, my heart is racing right now. I'm so lucky that cave wasn't deeper. Okay, I think I gotta go. Whoa, diamonds? I didn't know diamonds could generate inside of diorite. Heck yeah, even more diamonds. Oh, well, it's only enough for an enchantment table and a sword. Ah, eh, that's fine. Even though it is a bit risky for me to start working on the raid farm without diamond armor, I would rather work on it while I'm still awake enough to not die while building it. I'm up against the clock, as the later it gets, the sleepier I'll be in real life. Crap. My inventory is completely full now. I can't even fit my torches anymore. Okay, I gotta head home. I assume out is up. Oh, hey, is that? Oh man, that's where I died earlier, isn't it? Oh dear, I have to be careful. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Ha ha ha! No creeper gets the drop on me. I think I'm just gonna need to light up the spawner. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. <sighs> Holy fiction! It's after midnight and I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. Oh, my poor life. Let's go for reals this time. I swear this place is cursed. There's no other explanation for it. I guess I'm gonna grab a couple of these cobwebs. They're actually pretty nice. Oh, oh yeah, my inventory's full. You know what? I'll just combine my chest plates. I think I may have jinxed myself. Ah! That is it. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back to this cursed cave. I swear this place is bad luck. I am so glad to be out of there. One star. Terrible service. The staff kept blowing up at me. All right, I'm gonna get my inventory emptied into my chest monster at my base, and then we'll start gathering and crafting materials for the raid farm. You know, you'd imagine iron golems would be helpful when fighting off phantoms every night. Now I'm just terrified I might accidentally hit one and it's way more stressful. Wait, what the heck? Did that phantom just not attack me? What on earth is going on? Oh my gosh, it just happened again. Oh, hey, look, it's a kitty. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No fetching way. Are phantoms scared of cats? Dude, I thought it was just creepers. I had no idea. Uh, no, dude, that's awesome. You, sir, just saved my life. I have to go tame a cat right now. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, okay, let's go find a cat. Here you go, kitty. Come on, come here. Come here, kitty, kitty. kitty. Yeah, boy. All right, let's get back to work.
Oh, by the way, I've decided to name the turtle that's been living at the dock for the entire video, Benny. He's been sitting there for forever. <laughs> He's so lazy. I feel like crap. I've been awake for about 21 hours now and I feel like a zombie. This is miserable. I came to the swamp to get slime instead I got this silk touch and unbreaking pickaxe. Guess we're just gonna have to wait for the night and get slime then. Woohoo. Where is everybody? Did everybody go to the monster mash without me? Hello, where did all the monsters go? <gasps> where are all the slime? Slime do spawn in the swamp, don't they? Oh, it's a new moon. I don't think slime spawn during a new moon. Ah. No slime in the daytime. No slime here. Oh, crap, crap, crap. No slime here. No slime here. What day is it? 38? Oh, look, a slime. Let's go get him. Hallelujah, finally. It only took two days. Ah, great. Hey, could you guys do me a favor and kill that slime for me? Oh, sweet. Thanks, guys. You're so helpful. That is so nice. That is... Uh, okay, I think I can take it from here. Guys, hold on. Hold on. They're dead. They're dead. You can stop shooting now. Ah! All right, I have enough slime. I think it's time to head home. I finally got my toolsmith villager to the master level. Now I can get a diamond pickaxe. It is long past time I take the nether more seriously. I still need like soul sand and quartz. I better give it another crack. Yo, dude, I just found a piglin bastion. Ooh, and a warped forest. Those will come in handy later. Excellent. We got some soul sand. We didn't quite get enough, so I'll try to make up the difference with mud. I sure hope this works. I have now officially been awake for over 24 hours. Everything for the raid farm is ready to go now. I just gotta make my way over to the building spot and uh, whew, I really hope I don't die before I finish building it. It's getting dark, but I just have to put in this last thing. As long as I get down before the phantom spawn, I should be okay. Oh, I got it. Okay, I'll head down. Okay, okay. Oh, no, crap. There's a zombie down there. I just gotta get past it. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, I really could have used my shield right now. Oh, please don't knock me off. Please, please. Oh, crap. Okay, I think I have to reveal stipulation three now. <gasps> I apologize for breaking the fourth wall like this, but I, I can't respond twice in a hardcore video without an explanation. Stipulation three is that the totems of undying are banned. The price of undying and the totem of undying are both ways to artificially inflate the length of a hardcore series. The price of a death is just the worst version of the totem of undying that deletes my inventory, resets my position to world spawn, and costs me one penny per subscriber. It didn't seem fair to allow totems in this world with the price per death. It, it just feels like I'd be cheating you out of a death and cheating the cause I'm working towards out of a donation. What that means is you are my totem, and unfortunately for me, you get to set the price. So go easy on me and don't subscribe, please. As it turns out, this whole time I've only been building this farm for the emeralds and witch drops, so while it may have seemed like a bait and switch to have not actually needed the totems to begin with, I do still need to finish the farm. Which sucks, because I had everything else I needed to finish it in my inventory. I have to regather everything now. There is no way I'm going to work on this farm in iron armor anymore. I am trading up to diamond. I was supposed to have done this ages ago anyway. And while I'm at it, I might as well grab an extra set for my chest at spawn. I'm gonna need that in case I die again. Oh no! I forgot that I have to get slime again. That took forever last time. Hi. It's day 60. I took a bathroom break and forgot to resume my recording when I got back. I guess it's not the end of the world, since you already saw me gather the materials for the raid, but what the? You're not supposed to be able to walk on water. Uh, 
I guess my computer is lagging almost as much as my brain is. Neither one of us was designed to be playing Minecraft for this long. I have all the materials I need to finish the farm, but I think the next best step is to start putting the villagers into their cells. Hey Benny, what's up? I'm just gonna kidnap some people, don't mind me. <laughs> what a lazy turtle. Hey Benny, if you don't say anything about what's happening tonight, I'll find you a girlfriend. <laughs> How does that sound? <laughs> I'm so delirious. I think I've lost my mind. Okay, let's lure these villagers over. All right, let's see. Oh, there's one. And two. And three. Nice. Excuse me, Benny. Perfect. There's four and... Uh, and five, I guess. Come on, guys. One at a time. There we go. And five. All right. I've got my kidnap victim. I mean, I mean, volunteers. I said volunteers. Don't give me that look. Anyways, uh, let's go get them set up. Okay, last one. All I have left to do now is build the kill chamber and start the farm. Oh, I'm so tired, I can barely keep my eyes open. Oh, you can build it in 30 minutes, he said. Yeah, right, Ian. Okay, where do I put these? I need to jump over to the glass. And here we go. Uh oh, wait, huh? Uh, wait, did, did, did I miss? How, how, how did I, how did I not? Do you pledge to pay your price? If you will not pay, I will not play good on your pledge or pay your head. I think I may have bitten off more than I can chew. I have been awake for 33 hours now. I was supposed to be finished with recording by now, but I had to keep pausing to handle real life. Well, I can't go back to change the past. My only options now are to keep filming for another 11 hours and risk driving to work tomorrow and only two hours of sleep, or I could fail the challenge. I just don't know what to do. I have to finish the video. 12,000 people are expecting it. I've pledged to donate a penny per subscriber. I can't let them down shouldn't drive a vehicle tomorrow and so little sleep. It's not worth risking my life and definitely not the lives of the other drivers around me. You only get one life. There's no price you can pay to get another. My family's needs have to come before anything else, so I have no choice. I have to fail the challenge. In real life, you can't control whether or not you succeed. You can only control whether or not you give up. But I, I will not give up. I have to continue, no matter the price. <sighs> I may have failed to stay awake for the full 100 days, but I refuse to give up on this video. The consequence for going to bed last night is that the price per death has continued to rise the whole time. It now sits at $160 per death. So the price has doubled a third time. I think that's called a triple double. I, I don't know, I don't play sports. That being said, I've gotta get to work. To play it safe, I think I'll start working on stage three now. Oh, whoops, I think. I think I picked up three levels from my last life. Those are supposed to be deleted. I'll get rid of them, I promise. I'll finish the raid farm when I get a chance, uh, but when it comes to taking on the Ender Dragon, I can't afford to be rushed. Every decision I make needs to be carefully thought out so I don't bankrupt myself. To fight the Ender Dragon, I need to find the End Portal, which requires Eyes of Ender, crafted from Ender Pearls and Blaze Powder. Additionally, I'll need Slow Falling Potions, which also require Blaze Powder and Nether Warts, both of which are found in Nether Fortresses. In order to fight the Blazes safely, I'll need to trade with Piglins for potions of fire resistance. Trading with piglins requires gold, and the best way to get a lot of gold quickly is with a gold farm. The gold farm I'm planning to build requires turtle eggs, which means in order to beat the ender dragon, I need to find Benny a wife. But before we get ahead of ourselves, I need to set up a second nether portal that connects to the nether roof. Ooh, this part's always scary. Here we go. All right, we just need to be a little bit further away. That's probably far enough. Huh? How am I underground? I'm so lost. Now I'm gonna have to find my way back. I don't even know which way to go. Oh, look, there's my base. We're good. Okay, take two. Have to waste a second ender pearl. This better work. This one's lined up with the coordinates, so it should... Yes, it worked. All right, let's head back. What? Oh. Okay, maybe the coordinates of this one are off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now this should connect to the main one. Huh? 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm not doing this. This one just needed to be a little bit closer. Okay, finally. Ugh. Oh, that spooked me a little bit. <sighs> okay, I did make a promise to you earlier. I accidentally picked up three levels from my past life. It's time to get rid of those. Just got to make an anvil and grab a worn out pickaxe here. One, two, three. There we go. Now I'll just throw this in a lava pit. Perfect. Crisis averted. Let's get to work on the gold farm. The obsidian is always the worst part, so I'm going to get that out of the way first. But since I'm in a bit of a promise keeping mood, I think it's time to go find Benny a wife. Okay, to breed turtles you need seagrass, but you also need a lead so that I can bring the beautiful lady turtle back to our friend Benny. All right, Benny, I'm off to find you a wife. Don't go anywhere while I'm gone. <laughs> it's been there for like 70 days. Man, turtles are so lazy. Oh, there's a turtle. Oh, finally, that took forever, dude. Man, hey, I think I'm gonna name you Shelby. Ho hold on, why isn't this working? Can you not put leads on turtles? Are you serious? Oh, Mojang, come on. Uh, how am I supposed to lead the turtle back to Benny? Do you really expect me to swim backwards with the seagrass in my hands the whole way? I hate Mojang so much right now. I'm honestly tempted to go put a leash on a turtle in real life just to spite them. Oh, 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 oh. Mojang, I swear, if I die to a creeper because I'm swimming backwards, I'm going to send the bill for the price of my death straight to Jeb. Sheesh, that about gave me a heart attack. Benny, we're home. I brought you a wife. Aw, oh, crap, it's raining on your wedding day. Okay, let's not waste any time. Shelby, do you take Benny to be your lawfully wedded husband till death do you apart, yada, yada, yada? Benny, do you take Shelby to be your lawfully wedded wife through thick or thin, illness or health, poverty or wealth, and always promise to be true and faithful till death do you part? Okay, okay, we get it. The phantoms oppose this union of holy matrimony, but I don't care, overruled, blah, blah, blah. I now pronounce you turtle and wife. You may kiss the bride. All right, you two, you out are now officially married. If you could lay me some eggs, that would be pretty great. Uh, stop it. I know it's your wedding night. I'll leave you two alone. Ow. I'm gonna be needing that pretty soon here. Hey, Benny, Benny, you two finished up over there? Did she lay the, wait, where's your, where's your wife? Where's Shelby? She left and took the kids? Where'd she go? Shelby, come back! Shelby! 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 Oh man, I don't know if I'll be able to find her. I really need that turtle egg. Shelby, Shelby, I find you. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Oh man, what happened? Why'd you bail on my boy Benny? I thought you were gonna lay an egg. Oh, oh, okay, she's laying the egg here. Uh, why did she swim across the entire ocean to lay an egg? That is, that is so annoying. All right, Shelby, I'm just gonna take care of your egg for you. And oh crap, my inventory's full again. Oh, okay, where, where'd the egg go? Uh, Hey, give that back, you thief! I kidnapped that child fair and square. I mean, I, I'm the godfather of that child, and I'm going to take good care of him. Your son is in good hands, Mr. Shelby. There, there, nothing's gonna happen to him, I promise. I'm gonna name you Benny Jr. Come on, Benny Jr., you're gonna make me rich. <laughs> All right, you just stay right here in this chest, and I'll come back for you when it's time to build the gold farm. Okay, it's time to build the gold farm. All right, Benny Jr., you just sit right here, and we'll put this guy in front of you to keep you safe. Huh? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ooh, no, 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 stop! Stop! You killed Benny Jr! No! Oh, oh crap, oh, crap, I just hit one. I'm gonna die now, too. Uh, oh, Benny Jr. was too young to die. Oh, man, I killed my best friend's only son. I'm a horrible godfather. Uh, well, hold on, that's not my village. Oh, I'm in the middle of nowhere again. <sighs> well, since I'm here anyway, I might as well finish the overworld portion of the gold farm. I made it back to my base. I guess let's go find Shelby again. Shelby! Oh, there you are. All right, let's make this trek across the ocean again. <sighs> Seriously, though, Mojang? Why? The game mechanics in Minecraft make no sense. I essentially have to exploit villagers to progress. Inbreeding is the most convenient way to farm anything, and I have the option to eat rotten human flesh if I want to. But no, putting a leash on a turtle is where Mojang draws the line. What a weird hill to die on. Hey, Shelby! No, don't you dare kill my turtle, you wretched piece of indescribable filth! Did that just drop a trident? Oh my gosh! Oh, dude, tridents are so rare! Yes! Anyway, I wasn't finished complaining. It's like, go ahead and jump off a cliff with nothing but a water bucket, you'll be fine. But don't you dare put a leash on a turtle. <sighs> that and fireflies, yeah, I'm not letting that one go. You could feed your parrot poison, that's okay. Poisoning parrots is just dandy, but frogs? No, 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 it would be a tragedy if frogs ate fireflies. We wouldn't want to poison the frogs. Let's just make them eat molten lava monsters instead. Whew, 
Close one. We almost had something cool and useful in the game. Thank goodness Mojang canceled that feature. Look, all I'm saying is it's not like they couldn't have just made it so the frogs didn't eat the- Wait, why do you get bright all the time? Do you pledge to pay your price? Tiny Yens, check your inbox for the invoice. You owe me $197.20. No! No! <laughs> Wait, I had the trident in my inventory. Oh, do you know how rare a trident- SHELBY! No, 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 no! I can't kill Benny's only child and then kill his wife too! No, please, Shelby has to be okay! SHELBY! Oh, Shelby, you're alive! Oh, oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see you. I thought you died in the creeper blast. Oh, what a relief. Oh, I don't know what I would have done if Shelby had died. I need a turtle egg. Oh, wow. Oof. $460.79, that's insane. That is way more than I was expecting to spend on episode one. Man, the, like, the price per death went from like $20 to nearly $200 in three days. Holy crap. Oh. Y you'll likely notice that today's beneficiary is the Sarcoma Foundation of America, however it will change from episode to episode. The million dollar goal that I've set is actually the plan for when I will end this series, and for that reason I'll only be counting deaths towards the goal. Don't misunderstand, you're more than welcome to donate to the cause too, but I don't want somebody like Mr. Beast to come along and end the series after a month. Plus, it'll prevent this series from turning into me repetitively pestering people for donations. You can donate if you want to, but there is no expectation. Simply watching the video is helping to reach the goal, so thank you. Really, it means a lot. Come on, come on, go in. Thank you. Alright, now make baby, please. Yes? No? Maybe? <sighs> She's gonna have to swim all the way across the ocean again, isn't she? You guys are lucky you're watching this edited because this is the most boring thing ever. Okay, we're here. Are you finally gonna lay those eggs, Shelby? Oh, yes, here it comes. Oh, oh, of course. I I'm sure that me watching makes you uncomfortable. I I'm, I'm sorry, I'll look away. Just let me know when you're finished, all right? Oh, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I got my shield up. I you all right? How long does this typically take? Your eggs aren't like stuck, are they? I, I, I don't know, is that a thing? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh... Oh, yes, finally! And there's multiple this time. Oh, what a relief. Shelby, thank you. Your mating habits make no sense to me, but I'm just glad it's over. Thank you for letting me steal- uh, borrow- take care of your children. Goodbye. Well, let's go regather all the gold farm materials. I'm saving the part with the turtle egg for last, because I'm just not confident it's gonna be safe until the whole thing is working. Oh, I feel like I'm more scared of heights in Minecraft than in real life. If I fall off a cliff in real life, at least it doesn't cost me $200, unless I survive. I feel like a helicopter ambulance ride is pretty expensive, but even still, I'm terrified right now. All right. Everything is finished, except for placing the turtle egg. I have an idea, but it's risky. I got exactly one fire resistance potion when I was trading for the soul sand earlier. Ooh, there's a lot of you in here. Oh, does lava not break the portal? I thought it would. Here. Okay, that should push the piggies away. Excellent. All right, let's give it a go. All right, please don't kill the egg. Please don't kill the egg. Come on. Let me light the portal. Let me light the portal. Oh, oh wow, that is really working. And it looks like the egg is safe. Perfect. Now all I need to do is go through here. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, man, I hope nobody pushes me off the edge. Come on, go through, go through, go through. Whew, that was a close one. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Uh, 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 oh, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. I still have the fire resistance. Oh, man, that was terrifying. All right, I'm gonna take a few minutes to swipe these little piggies, little piggies. And then uh, once I've got about two to three stacks of ingots, I'll head down and trade them off. Oh, awesome, that's six of them. Let's go find a fortress. Okay, let's see, we're at day 91 now. Ooh, I already explored pretty far east and west. I'm gonna try heading north first. I don't see anything over here. I guess I'll keep pressing forward. Oh, hey! Oh, it's in a basalt delta though. Whatever, I'll take whatever I can get. All right, we're in. Oh, this place creeps me out. Oh, I think I'm gonna take my fire resistance potion now just to be safe. Oh, look, there's a blaze spawner over here. Holy cow, fire resistance potions really do help. They can't even hurt me. Oh, 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 never mind. Well, at least the fireball attacks can't even hit you at all. That's insane, dang. I was honestly really stressed about fighting the blaze before, but with the resistance, it's actually kind of relaxing. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, I'm starting to run low on fire resistance. I think I may have gotten a little bit carried away. I only needed like six or seven rods, but I got 
49. So a, a little bit of time wasted, but oh well. I do want to test which direction the stronghold is in so I can set out directly after I finish the last few things. Excellent. That way. Good to know. Good to know. All right. All I have left to do is gather the ender pearls for the rest of the eyes and some nether warts for the slow falling potions. Since the ender pearls are more important, I'm going to get those done first. But before I head off to the warp forest, I think I need to see if I can enchant a sword with looting. Nope. 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 Oh, come on. I'm running out of time. Nope. Hey, there we go. Ooh, I've got to hurry. It still says day 95, but the sun is right about to come up for day 96. I I've only got four days left. All right. All right. The warped forest was, uh, let me check. Oh, this way. This way. Okay. Here we go. Oh man. I'm so nervous. There it is. There it is. Ooh, I've got to hurry. All right, there's some Endermen there. Oh, sick, I got a couple. Two from one Enderman, nice. Sick, there's a couple more. We're up to six, nice. Oh, there's one, come on, teleport up here. Yeah, oh, whoops. Oh, there's like four or five of them up there. Okay, that's 16, I'm set to go. What day is it? 97, oh crap, oh crap, I gotta run. Oh, well, I got an extra one, nice. Okay, I gotta get back to the fortress now. Go, go, go. I've searched everywhere over there. Maybe there's some down this way? Nope. Okay, uh, no, no, no. Come on, where's the staircase room? Oh, there's one, there's one. Wait, this isn't the room. No, where is it? Ah, oh, I'm running out of time. I can't keep looking. I don't know what to do. I can't leave here without any nether warts. I, I am going to die to fall damage if I don't find some. I don't know where else to look. They aren't part of the chest loot table, are they? Well, not that chest's loot table, I guess. Please, I need this. Please, one of the chests. Come on, one of these has to have some. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Come on, please. Yes, yes, finally, yes. Okay, I've got to go. I've got to go. Okay, we've got the eyes of Ender. Uh, 14's probably enough. Okay, then the slow falling potions need one nether wart, phantom membrane, then uh, I should extend them with redstone. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to make six just to be safe. Okay, I'll need a bow. Uh, I got to trade for some arrows. What else do I need? What else do I need? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have time to prepare anything else. Let's just go. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Here seems like as good of a place as any to throw an eye. Okay, great, great. We're still going the right way. What day is it? 99! Oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, we have no time to waste. Okay, let's see. It's a little bit further this way now. We must be getting close. Oh, 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 it's right behind me. Uh, it's gotta be right here. Yes, it's straight down, it's straight down. Okay. Oh no, the entire cave system is flooded. Okay, finally, we're we're past it. All right, where's the stronghold? Ah, there it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. We're in. We're in. We're in. All right. Where's the portal room? Where is it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where is it? Ah! Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Day 100. It's literally now or never. If I die, I will have failed completely. After everything I've done, after all the work I've put into this challenge, I'm here. I've been pushed to my limits, my patience, my sanity, my endurance, even my financial stability. All in the name of making this challenge as hard as it can be. I've failed in almost every regard. I've never finished my base. I've died multiple times. I had to sleep in real life, and I may even still lose this fight. Ah! And you know what? Failing over and over has made me realize that Minecraft isn't about being hard. Difficulty isn't what gives it value. It's growing from the difficulty. It's the problem solving. Ah! Failing and, and then learning from it. Yes! Yes, I got it! I'm not afraid to fail. Failure isn't the opposite of success. It's the steps that lead to it. I think Yoda was wrong. Try is all that you can do. All right, you dumb dragon. It's time to finish you off. Ah! Whoa! Oh, that was a close one. Okay, one more hit. Oh, come on. Yeah, let's go. Just in time to see the sunrise on day 101. Yeah, wait. I forgot to finish building the raid farm.